Okay, so a big question I get asked, and it's actually it's the first question I asked for obvious reasons. First time I ever went to YouTube on the internet, and I had sort of heard about eToro. First thing I wanted to know is, is this a scam? I knew nothing about it. Are they going to steal my money? I don't have a lot of money. I don't want my money kind of going missing. And I know that, you know, I'm a noob. I don't know anything about this. I'm very new to it. I don't know about trading. Uh, all I knew about trading is that it's a really complex thing um, done by really shark-like people who just, you know, deal with money and make money off people and they wear braces and they, you know. Um, so all I knew about trading is that it's, it's complicated, it's well over my head. And so I, I heard about eToro and I thought, oh God, because I've heard stories about people losing money. Uh, you know, I've been on Facebook and there's all these kind of scam, obvious scam things. Actually, the more I'm into it now, the more I see those and think, oh my God. Uh, and I try and tell them, no. Uh, anyhow, so first thing I did with eToro is I signed up. And I thought, all right, I had some money at the time. I had to, so I put a thousand dollars into eToro. Um, I didn't even, I, I did nothing with it. I, I validated it. I went through that whole process of you open an account, you have to upload your um, ID card or passport and one bill, um, like a utilities bill to show where you live and stuff. All of this stuff freaked me out as well. I'm like, what am I giving my ID card? What are these? Um, identity theft or something, or, you know, it just seems very. Uh, serious and a bit frightening to me because you know I don't normally have to do that especially with a website why would I give them my details I don't know who they are anyhow I did it you know put in my bank account details um, they verified me I, I put in the money I think I put in the money before they verified me and I was a bit you know suspicious of that as well I'll take my money before but they they uh, verify you can't trade before you you're verified but you can put in money so I put in the money, got verified, and I did nothing with it. And the first thing I did was actually uh, waited a bit, and then I withdrew all of that money. Now, when you withdraw money, uh, you obviously go to here, withdraw funds. At the moment, all my funds are tied up. It's the amount of money I've got. And uh, so I can't actually, that with my withdrawable balance is zero because all of that money is in trades. I'm tied up to the hilt, completely in trades. Um, it's not good for your risk score. If you put leave a little bit of your money not in trades, just in your available balance, your available margin, it lowers your risk score. But at the moment, um, I'm doing that. So I put the amount of money that I wanted to withdraw into there and um, press withdraw. Now when you do that, press submit. When you do that, you get, uh, you get there are fees and you can look them up. I'll try and withdraw fees. No results found. Really? Help. I'll go to help uh, and try and find out how to withdraw. Here we go. Um, how do I draw? Blah, blah, blah. Are there any withdrawal fees? Yes. So here we are. Withdrawal fees. So when you want to withdraw money, your own money, A, when you when you put in money to eToro, it converts it all into US dollars. They convert every currency put in. Mine was euros. They convert that into US dollars. But I've asked a lot of people and apparently they use an exchange, so there is a processing fee to make that change from whatever money you're putting in into the US dollar amount. But apparently their exchange rate is extremely competitive. You, you really can't beat it elsewhere. And I've asked a few people and I trust them and they've said, no, don't worry about that. Don't change your money into dollars, then put it into eToro because they're quite fair. They're really fair on the way they do that. When you want to withdraw money, they charge you a fee. So here, if it's between $20 and $200, they charge you $5. If it's between $200 and $500, they charge you $10. If it's more than $500, they charge you $25. So I withdrew $1,000, so I got charged $25. And I just waited, and I thought, is this money going to get back to me? I think I did get a sales call or something, you know, like, why, why, are you, is everything okay, da, da, da. But I understand that. I've worked in kind of sales stuff before, and I know that that's really just quite good practice. It's annoying. Me... It annoys me. Get away from me. Don't ask me where I want my money. Go, go, go. But I get it. They're just trying to retain people. That's their kind of business model. But I, I got my money back. So it took like maybe two, three days and I got the money back. It comes back to the account that you credited it from. So if you credited it by this credit card, it will come back to that credit card. Or the other one, it will go back to that one. And I got my money back. So when that happened, I was kind of you know, relieved, realistically. Um, I thought, okay, uh, I kind of trust them a bit more and I trusted them to actually um, start looking at trading. 
So what I then did is, uh, I mean, that was a big thing. I, I really didn't know if they'd just take the money and run. And um, what I've uh, sort of realized though after that is I realized how big eToro was. So it's not like a little company where it's worth their while just to kind of steal from me and disappear with the money. So let's say they get me in and they just start stealing from people all over the place. First place I checked was online reviews. Is eToro a scam? That's why I'm calling this video that, you know, just to give my experience with it. Because it's terrifying, it could be. And I checked reviews all over the internet. You see, that's when we live. We live in a time where there are loads of reviews everywhere. So if eToro or any company was to just start ripping people off, I mean, if there had been, like, you know, any amount of serious complaints saying, no, don't trust the eToros, take your money. If there had been any of them, I doubt I'd have signed up. The ones I did find, which were a bit about, you know, I didn't get my money back, were just, it took 15 days to process. Or, uh, instead of giving me all my money back in one go, it split it into five separate payments. What idiots, lol, you know. So it wasn't, I didn't see any reviews which said they out and out took my money, which is why I even tried with the thousand, you know. Um, but, what I've, I've realized since is that they're not in this to scam. They're so big. Now in exchange, they make their money off spread fees. Every uh, trade that I make, um, or when I'm copying, the person I'm copying makes, and therefore I make, they get spread fees. So uh, let's say the real price is here. When I buy it, they'll charge me a slightly higher price. That little difference is called the spread fee. That's how they make their money. It happens when I buy a thing or when I open a sell position. They'll make their spread fees. They change depending, you can find all the spread fees on their information page. They change depending on what it is you're trading and when they change over time. But um, that's how they make their money. There are a lot of people on eToro. They've done quite an incredible job. They came out with copy trading, really promoted it so that people like me can say, all right, I don't know how to trade, but I want to be in this. All right, I'm going to copy that guy for free, who's awesome and has done this for five years or 10 years. It's an unbelievable idea. So they've done really well in promoting their site and getting it kind of to the top. For them at this point, to risk the reviews by screwing people over, by not giving them their money back, by that would be an insane business decision. Their business model is good. eToro will be making a lot of money out of all of us. A lot of money. But they're providing a really, really, kind of really good service. Fair enough. But it's not in their interest to um, rip us off. That's what I kind of realized. I realized how big it was and how they don't need to steal. They can make money doing this more money. If you steal from someone, they don't come back and they tell other people and those people never come to you in the first place. If you don't steal and you provide a good service, word spreads, people trust you. And around money and finance and uploading thousands of euros, you need trust. You need a lot of trust. So that's where they are. So what I ended, I had withdrawn my, my thousand uh, dollars or whatever. And then I put more in. I think I put uh, about 3,500 in. I said, all right, let's have a go at this. Traded for a while. Um, really stupidly, instead of doing the copying, as I've told you before, I tried trading by myself, like lost 38% in, in October, I think it was, of um, uh, last year. So look, here we are, 38.14% I lost. Woo! In October. So then what happened is, uh, come January, I, I, I actually studied filmmaking. I studied uh, Radio, film, and television production, but I've never used that. I've done other stuff, worked in business and all the rest of it, but I never, I never used that. But I wanted to make videos. Well, I thought this is really interesting. I can make videos. I just had this itch to make stuff, you know. And so January came, and I actually withdrew. Um, I'll show you here. If I go to my history, and I'll go to this year because I can only go as far back as this year, and I go to cash flows. So here, uh, process, withdrawal request. That's where I withdrew 1,700 to, to buy this camera and to start buying you know, microphones and stuff. And then I withdrew another 409 here. Um, eToro credits were things they used to do. They used to, when you signed up, if you put in a certain amount, they give you a certain amount of credits. And it was, it was kind of money you could trade with for three months, but not real money, and then they'd take it back. It was just... I don't know, it's like an incentive to sign up. They don't do it anymore. So here we are. I withdrew in January, uh, 23rd of January, I withdrew 1,700. 31st of January, I withdrew 409. I got both of those amounts back really quickly with no hassle. I got sales calls again. And, you know, why, hey, is everything okay? Why are you withdrawing? You know, this sort of 
nice American accent from Cyprus, going, why are you withdrawing your money? But I said, look, I, I, I need the money, I'm going to buy a camera. I actually told them, you know, I was a bit, whoa, the second someone phones me up and say, why, authority figure. But it's been fine. And I've listened to lots of people um, talking about eToro now. And I've heard people, you know, withdrawing 20000 and not having a problem. Really, if people came to withdraw money and they didn't get it back, it would absolutely kill eToro's business. So they can't risk that stuff. They know that if they do it, the person who doesn't get their money back will be all over the internet spreading around. Um, so at the moment, from what I've seen, from everything I've seen, um, no, they're not, they're not a scam. And will I get my money back? Yes, I'll get my money back. Um, you know, and there's people who've, who've put in vastly more than me who've done that. I can't guarantee in future, I can't guarantee what, they do, what they're going to do or what's going to happen to the world economy. Or, I know that there's also insurance. I know that, like, you know, some people have asked, what if the economy crashes and eToro goes bankrupt? We're, our money's guaranteed to a certain amount. You need to check what that is. It's different if you're with eToro EU and if you're with eToro UK. I think it's like there's a 5,000 difference. But I think it's up to 20,000 or 25,000. Don't quote me on that. Go and check yourself. But a certain amount of money is guaranteed um, by sort of European law if you're, if you're with EU or with um, UK law if you're with UK. I don't know about everywhere else, but um, a certain amount is guaranteed in case they completely go bust. Uh, so yeah, uh, so far it's looking good, you know. Um, so far. Keep watching that. And if anyone's heard anything other than what I'm saying, please let me know. But so far, no. I've heard quite a lot about, you know, people withdrawing a lot of money and not quite a lot. I've heard it a couple of times where people have withdrawn a large amount and instead of getting it all back in one go, they've got like four or five payments of, you know, and it's added up to the total amount and they're just complaining, going, why did you do that? And Itaro went, sorry, so it doesn't happen again. Um, but no, no major problems. It's a good question though. First one I asked.